The agricultural industry in Michigan makes up a huge part of our economy. So how business is conducted is essential to thousands of farmers and really every consumer. Over the next two days, the Michigan Farm Bureau is meeting at DeVos Place to discuss critical issues in Michigan agriculture. Over 400 farmers are representing over 40,000 farms and businesses, and they're discussing and voting on policies they feel are most important to the agriculture, especially next year's farm bill. I talked with Matt Smigo from the Michigan Farm Bureau about the climate of growing in Michigan. Here now at DeVos Place talking about the Michigan Farm Bureau's meeting, and this is a gathering that's happened for 103 years, am I right? That's correct. Um, tell us a little bit about what's going to be decided today. What are we talking about? Everybody's coming together, and a lot of issues are being brought up. Yeah, we have over 400 farmers from across the state of Michigan that have gathered in Grand Rapids this week. They're going to be discussing a variety of issues and basically deciding their platform of what they want our policies to be for the coming year. Uh, it all starts at the grassroots level, uh, at our county level. Uh, they're going to be talking about some issues that are important uh, this next year in 2023, particularly the Farm Bill. Uh, the Farm Bill will be expiring in 2023, and uh, we'll need to have some uh, direction for our senators and our congressional representatives as to what uh, Michigan farmers' needs are going into that discussion. And those are the issues that are being brought up today? That's correct. Yeah, so 400 people representing 40,000 different farms and organizations. Right. Wow, that's a lot. So what are some of the issues that are so critical that you need to address? Well, I mentioned the Farm Bill. Uh, we'll get into that discussion a little bit more uh, with, uh, with the delegates and giving us some direction. One of the things that we look at the Farm Bill is uh, tools for our farmers to continue to operate year over year. Uh, risk management continues to be an area of focus, as well as food and nutrition programs uh, for the general population. We all like to eat, yep. and making sure that we have that voice represented uh, again at the federal level is going to be critically important this next year. It really is. And so what are some of the issues that farmers deal with on a regular basis that people may not think about? We have a lot of crops in Michigan. We do. Yeah, Michigan is blessed. We've got over 300 different uh, commodities that are grown in the state. Uh, we are second in our diversity of types of products grown, uh, second only to California. Uh, so when you think about uh, the fruits and vegetables that you enjoy, uh, that you get at a local farmer's market on the grocery shelf, a lot of those are grown right here in Michigan. Uh, and so we're very fortunate with that. You know, when you think about the issues with such diversity, um, not dissimilar to other industries, labor continues to be a challenge for yeah. our farmers. And so helping them, whether it's uh, securing uh, the right educated labor with uh, you know, technical expertise, or even looking at research for innovation uh, of technology. How do we automate things and processes to, to help alleviate that pressure of not having enough employees? The agricultural industry is just huge for Michigan. How much of, of a part of our economy is it? Uh, Michigan uh, agriculture is actually also the second leading economy in the state. Uh, over $105 billion of annual activity uh, each year is generated. That's both direct and indirect. So all the associated industries that, that feed into that. Um, but we have a very strong presence. Uh, we have a, a large number of folks that are also actively employed in agriculture and the associated industry. So it is something that is important to all Michiganders, uh, whether you live or work on a farm or just like to go to the grocery store and eat, uh, we all have a vested interest in agriculture. Matt, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you.